Did the United States really enter World War I out self-defense? On April 2, 1917, the United States declared war on Germany, marking the U.S. entry into World War I. The declaration stated that the Imperial German government has committed repeated acts of war against the people of the United States of America. Thus, the U.S. government framed its entry into world war. I as a matter of self-defense. But was this really the case, or did the U.S. have more important motivations for entering the war? The repeated acts of war mentioned in the U.S. declaration were Germany's submarine attacks on us ships and ships carrying us citizens. In 1915, the sinking of the British passenger liner Lusitania resulted in 128 American debt. This caused a huge scandal. In January 1917, Germany began sinking all U.S. merchant ships in the Atlantic, bringing tensions to a fever pitch. Then, about a month later, the American press began reporting on the Zimmermann telegram. In this message, Germany offered to join a military alliance with Mexico in case the U.S. entered the war against the Central Powers. To many Americans, the Zimmermann telegram was a direct threat to the United States. All that said, Germany did not want war with the United States. The Zimmermann telegram offered a plan only in case the U.S. declared war on Germany. This point was lost on the angry American public, though. Moreover, President Wilson began to frame the war as an opportunity to make the world safe for democracy. As a result, entering the war became a politically popular idea. This may be the real reason that American leaders decided to send troops. Finally, the U.S. also had a strong economic reason to go to war. The Americans had loaned massive amounts of money to the Allies. If the Allies lost, the U.S. would have been financially shattered. So, do you think that the U.S. entry into World War I was a true act of self-defense? Or did Americans fight the war for less noble reasons?